check the bottom of the lysis buffer. If precipitation has occurred, place the lysis buffer on a heating block or shake well to melt it completely. After the lysis buffer is completely dissolved, add 20 ml isopropanol and mix well. Shake the extraction cartridge to mix the magnetic beads that have sunk to the bottom and shake off the beads attached to the sealing field. Remove the sealing field. Dispense 700 microliter of lysis buffer containing isopropanol into all lysis wells of column B. When using Quanti HCV or HIV-1 products, dispense 10 microliter of internal control into all lysis wells of column B. Dispense 10 microliter of negative control into well B3. Dispense 200 microliter of sample into wells B4 through B8. Dispense 10 microliter of low positive control into well B2. Dispense 10 microliter of high positive control into well B1. Insert a disposable strip tip into the disposable strip column. Load the cartridge onto New Actors cartridge bay, ensuring it's mounted in the correct position. Press rod and select viral RNA extraction on the screen. Press start and wait until the extraction is complete.
If the extraction is finished successfully, remove the cartridge from the bay and proceed to the next step. If the strip cap is not separated properly, select Remove on the screen to separate it. Dispense 5 microliter of primer mix into each well of the reaction tube. Dispense 10 microliter of enzyme mix into the tube well containing the primer mix. Dispense 5 microliter of the extracted negative control into well 3 of the reaction tube and close the cap. Dispense 5 microliter of the extracted sample into wells 4 through 8 and close the caps. Dispense the extracted low positive control into well 2 and close the cap. Dispense the extracted high positive control into well 1 and close the cap. Mix the reaction tube using a mixer or shake it manually. Spin down the tube using a centrifuge to drop its content on the wall to the bottom. Place the reaction tube in exemplar. Select HCV and press Next. Confirm the well number of controls and samples and input patient ID. Press Run Test and wait until the timer runs down to zero. Check the completion message. To review test results, press Review and select Individual Results. Press the camera button at the top of the screen to save the results screenshots on the SD card in the device.